In April, as many Pacific nations were responding to the growing threat of COVID-19, tropical uh, cyclone Harold ripped through our region, destroying homes and erasing livelihoods across all four of Fiji's divisions, with total damages amounting to around $100 million. <laughs> The World Meteorological Organization have uh, urged the meteorological services in the world to please shift from forecasting what the weather will be to what the weather will do. The reason we are introducing impact-based forecasting in small island nations is simply because it will help to save more lives. The main lesson from TC Harold was that people were prepared for the cyclone, but people were not really prepared for the storm surges and the coastal inundation. With Harold, listening to the news, we imagine, okay, it was said, the wind direction is coming from the land, here, from the hills. We all looked to the hills, and everything we did was to protect our homes that was coming from this direction, but then we didn't imagine that there was something coming from the sea. Globally, the greatest fatality in terms of percentage that comes from tropical cyclone are from storm surge that happens. That is a fact. And that is also one of the greatest uh, areas that we find uh, that there is lacking. And that is particularly on people knowing what response they are to take when storm surge happens within coastal communities. People tend to neglect uh, warnings uh, from Met offices about possible uh, coastal inundation from tropical cyclones. Sometimes the challenge is the language the Met services are using are not very clear. So as soon as it slowed down and then we started cleaning, then we got a shock. We heard this big rumbling roar from the ocean because we are near the reef. So then everybody turned to the reef. Then we saw these big waves coming in. Yeah. So all the homes over here didn't expect that. So we were a little bit late in protecting, especially with our facilities here around the school. Uh, we didn't save anything. Prior to this, the only information that we will tell you in terms of uh, inundation or storm surge is just the state of the sea. The word that we normally use are uh, phenomenal seas. But you, if you ask a person living out in, uh, in Dubai, what are they going to do with the word phenomenal seas? They don't even know what it means. What they need is a new way in which we define it. Most of the time you will hear in the radio, the wind will be 60 knots. Mariners can expect uh, south to southeasterly winds with speeds up to 15 to 20 knots. Instead of saying 60 knots, we say we are going to have a wind which will can uproot trees. So by knowing what the weather will do and the impact of it, it will empower people, enable them to act quicker before the disaster arrives. And then when people understand that, it does not just become head knowledge, it becomes something that they understand internally and then that compels them to change their behavior, to take the right behavior, when people really understand the impact of what's about to happen. Impact-based forecasting will help elevate Fiji's level of preparedness as it redefines how we interpret information that feeds into our decision-making process. If we do impact-based forecast, that way we combine science and the understanding of the community and we can save more lives uh, because there's no point in having a very accurate forecast, but the people don't understand it. I'm uh, confident this work will help uh, save Fijian lives. It will help manage and minimize risks and help build resilient communities filled with families who know what to expect and how to effectively respond to tropical cyclones.